Fancy Fake Creations. Here today for another soap making video inspired by summer. In my last video I made a cucumber melon soap that had embeds made out of PVC pipe. And in this soap, I want to use a bigger PVC pipe to kind of create a full moon and a sky background with some stars and clouds. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I've got my melted oils that have set at room temperature. I've also got my lye water solution. I'm just going to mix them together with my stick blender. I've got a new uh, camera angle for you guys because, you know, crafts just end up taking up your whole entire house. And I had to bring my new IKEA table that didn't get used for sewing down into the kitchen to use for soap because that's what I do now. And uh, no joke, crafting takes over your whole house. So let's get this going. Okay, so I'm doing three different colors on this moon soap. I didn't just want it to be like a big white moon. I want it to have some like shimmers and swirls in it. So I've got some shimmer gold from Nurture Soap, some atomic orange from Nurture Soap, and then I put some titanium dioxide and distilled water into a bowl as well. I want it to be mainly white, but again, I still want some color. moment to scrape this out of this giant bucket. All right, and the scent I'm using today, it's the first time I've actually used this company, it's called Nature's Garden. I was looking for like a cool moon scent and typed in moon and this came up, it's called Mystic Orange Moonstone and it has a lot of like scents, florals, spicy patchoulis and stuff like that in it, but it's actually very, very soft for how complex it is, so I think it's going to look really good in this soap. It's also where I got the orange color from because it's called Mystic Orange Moonstone. I thought I'd put a little orange swirl in it. So let's mix up the colors real quick here. And as always, <laughs> let me remind myself to do the lighter to darker color, colors here and not the other way around. Just scrape all the sides down in the bottom to make sure all the colors in the soap and not on the sides of the bowl. going to try and get this to be a little thicker than what it is because I don't want it to necessarily make swirls. I just want it to all kind of lay together. So I might take the stick blender to it again. I'm really loving this fragrance. It's actually, it could probably be like a unisex fragrance, all honesty. It's very light, but it's complex. Alright, so you can see I have a PVC pipe here that I've, hello, I've lined it with um, parchment paper and I've also kind of reinforced the sides here so that it doesn't come out the bottom. Um, I've never done anything like this before. I can tell you that it wasn't fun doing the smaller ones, so I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I did have to reformulate my recipe and actually, you know, find volumes and use math to figure out how much oils go into this PVC pipe, so hopefully my calculations are correct. And I think I still, um, I just want to let these thicken up a little bit more. So it's set up a little bit here. So I'm going to try a technique and see if it works. just kind of want to alternate the colors of the white. Oh, this is going to be messy. Uh, the uh, orange, yellow, orange. 
and the gold. And then keep doing that. So, kind of like a funnel technique, I guess. Mess everywhere. No idea if this is going to turn out. Alright, wish me luck getting this into this PVC bike. That was a mess. Alright. I think I'm just going to take a chopstick in here and kind of swirl it around. Got some left over. Anyway, we're going to let this sit for 24 hours and then I'm going to come back and make the other half of the soap that this is going to go in. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and this is what the PVC moon in bed looks like. It came out of the tube very nicely and it's ready to be put in some soap. Got the rest of my uh, oils here melted to room temperature along with my lye. And I'm going to combine the two of those. Working with a new ingredient today called activated charcoal. This is what's going to make the dark sky in the background. Not only is it good for a natural color and it's really good for your skin. You typically use, I think about a tablespoon of this stuff. Um, again, I've never used it before. And this isn't quite a pound of oils in here, so I'm going to use a little less than a tablespoon. Um, but that is the typical ratio, is a tablespoon per pound of oils. No idea how this is going to react in soap. Um, I've also got some Black Onyx Flare from Nurture Soap that I just wanted to add a little bit of sparkle and shimmer to it. Kind of scares me. <laughs> like it shouldn't look like that, but it should. Hopefully this doesn't leave any lumps in soap. I have no idea what's going to look like. Alright, so I'm going to add my fragrance oil in here. Stir that all in, wipe the sides down, make sure everything is in the soap and not stuck to the side of the bowl. Give that a nice little stir. Just want to make sure everything really is incorporated in this with the charcoal. kind of want to create a first layer in the soap mold so that I, the moon stays on top and doesn't sink to the bottom. So I'm just going to pour a little bit into the bottle. That's it. I know what you guys are thinking. Why did you do orange? It looks like a sun. <laughs> I'm hoping that once I put it in to the black background, it looks more like a moon. Um, and it, the real reason why I chose, chose the orange was because of the name of the fragrance. And if it looks like a sun, it looks like a sun. But I'm going for moon, so it is what it is. So I let that sit for a little bit, hoping that when I put this in here, it just doesn't sink to the bottom. But let's see. Hoping the sides hoping it doesn't sink to the bottom. But the sides also might keep it up. There we go. Alright, so 
So then I'm gonna pour the rest of this over top. So then I'm going to spray it with the isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm going to go get the clouds. So on the top of this soap, I kind of want to make clouds. I don't know how well that's going to turn out. I'm going to try my best. And then the point of that is to top it with these little star embeds. I got um, big ones and I got some little ones in here. big round tip I'm not pulling up on it I'm just kind of letting it fill in everything I'm thinking one big star on the top and then one little star on side. Oh, pour is really, really hard to work with when you got gloves on. Just so you know. Alright. Last but not least. I don't like the fact that when you have to insert stars that half of them get cut off in the clouds, but you get the point. Alright, other new thing I'm using today is some iridescent super sparkle glitter. I try saying that five times fast. Iridescent super sparkle glitter on top. Because everything deserves glitter. Lots of glitter. And then top it off with the isopropyl alcohol. And then we're going to let this sit for about 24 to 48 hours. Cut into it and hope that I got what I was looking for. Back after three days of letting this puppy sit in the mold, as you can tell, there's been a little disaster. It did not want to come out of the mold. It was very soft, and that can happen when you work at room temperatures. It takes a lot longer for your your soap to reach what's called saponification, which is fine. It'll still look okay when I cut it. The outsides are a little um, less pretty, but I'll have a few friends and get a couple bars of soap out of it. Next time, I think I'm actually going to use sodium lactate, and I'll, I'll hopefully that, that'll work out, and I'll teach you guys how to use that. And again, patience with, with leaving your soaps in the molds and actually waiting. I was a little impatient and tried to take it out. I just wanted to cut it, see what it turned out like in the middle. It's still really soft. Oh no, I think that looks beautiful on the inside. It's just the outside that's a little wonky. So let's keep going here. Oh, that one's my favorite. That's so pretty. See, it does not look like a sun. It looks like a moon, right? When you put it in the background, it looks like a moon. I think it does anyway, and that's what I was going for. It's charcoal's 
really, really messy. It was really pretty. You can see the sparkles on the inside. I wanted to let you guys know a little more about this fragrance, that I'm very, very happy with it. It is a nurture garden, sorry, nature's garden um, exclusive. It's a scent that is something they came up with. It did not accelerate anything. It did not cause rising. It smells very, very nice. And it was great to work with. So I will definitely use it again. I think I'm going to try making this soap again and having a little more patience using the sodium lactate and hoping that it does not stick to the mold next time and it looks a lot prettier than it does. Maybe I'll do something every season. I'll have um, different color moons in, in different season soaps. But all in all, I mean, you get the point of what I was going for here, the moon in the sky. And the black is a little messy. It, it has gotten everywhere, as you can see, when you're working with black soap and white soap. It's kind of hard to not get the two to mix together. But there you have it. So, there you have it learned a few lessons with this one. I've invested in some sodium lactate, big bottle of it, for any future batches because I'm not too happy with the sides of this. It's definitely a soap that I want to redo again. Um, I, I might even do different color moons this time or different scents, but I definitely want to redo the soap so that the sides don't look as wonky. Um, otherwise, I, I'm happy with it. This is exactly how I imagined it with the swirly moon and the black background, the sparkles that are in it. Even the topping of the soap, since I put it on top of the sky, the black soap, that it actually looks like clouds because it made an impression when I piped it on there. So it looks like real clouds. Hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you want to see me use the sodium lactite lactate and see if it actually works. Um, like my video if you enjoyed watching soap making. Um, if you have any comments or any tips or pointers or questions, leave them below. Um, until then, smell you later.